There's 1871. Oh my God, when I'm talking, I can hear it. Oh my God, the door. The door's <gasps> opened. No way. Hi guys, so today we're in Cork in a little village called Glandor and if you can see that hill behind me, we've actually walked up a hill as steep as that one but we're here to find a little cemetery and you might see there behind me there's a sign there and the sign says cemetery but it's Glandor Cemetery so I'm going to flip you around and uh, let's take a look right so we had to park the car down the village and we're after walking all the way up here and that, I can tell you now, is extremely steep. But we're actually going to walk down through here to find this little cemetery. So now there's supposed to be a mausoleum in here and, um, you know, there's not a whole lot of information about it so we're going to go in and take a look and see maybe if there's a name or anything on it but from what i've read there doesn't seem to be much information at all so you can see there just in front of us we're about four hours away at this stage from home we left this morning about i think it was about half nine and uh, we have a few videos to do Grave Visitations is with me and he's already done two amazing videos. Now, right, maybe we'll go up this way first. Like little steps going up. See a beautiful headstone there actually. Margaret Hayes and her husband John interred in Ross Abbey. Wow, is that connected to Ross Abbey that we did? Yeah, Ross Abbey is the modern baby home. Yeah, the Philomena Lee Ross story. Margaret Hayes, February 1958, and her husband John interred in Ross Abbey. Yeah, in 1946, their daughter passed in 1977 and other deceased members of the family and relatives. And then at the bottom of it says their son, Timothy or Tim, 1980. And we've two beautiful statues there, one of our Lord and one then of Mary. Just there. Now this is quite unique. We've this little, these are like little tiny grave markers. We have a little one up there like a, a cross on it. This one says in memory of Daniel Mahoney who died on the 6th of January 1857, age 78. May his soul rest in peace. And there's Lawrence there as well, 1954. His wife, Ellen, 1973. Their daughter, Mary Ellen, 1947. So that looks like an old headstone that's been painted. Now, what I do notice here in the corner as well, we have this here, but I don't think we're going to be able to, to read it. It's quite hard to actually walk around here, but I do see this. And it says Private Christina Mary O'Donoghue, Auxiliary Territorial Service. So it's Private Christina Mary O'Donoghue, Auxiliary Territorial Service, 7th of January 1946, age just 19. 
That's the first female. That's the think. first female we have happened on. And Christine, Christina was only 19. Very, very young, wasn't she? 1946, but she's here in this tiny little, little graveyard. And as I said, it is extremely hard to get around. Um, we'll have to try and ooh, find a way up to this one. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's the GAA, is it? GAA, yeah. The Symbol for GAA there at the end of it. It says... If I can get up to, to it at all. Oh, Donahue, is it? Tim John. Tim John died January 2012, so not that awful long ago. So yeah, 2012. So I wonder, was there originally family buried in there? And that does look like, I don't know, is that a ruins of something? That's the ruins of a church, I'd say. You can see just there, there's a little window. I don't think there'll be anything in here. Oh wow. There's a plaque there for Ellen O'Donovan. 1865 to 1952. Her husband Michael, 1902 and her daughter. May, it says 1914. We have a lovely Celtic cross right in the corner here. Beautiful that one is. And that's sacred to the memory of Michael Cleary, 1931. His son Timothy, 1947. Dearly loved and dearly mourned, Jeremiah Cleary, March 1981. And Michael Cleary, January 1990 something there. So they're actually, I would have thought they were so much older. And this is kind of rote. It says, in loving memory of Annie Hayes, 1964, age 67. Her son, Dennis, 1976, age 51. Her daughter, Eileen Donovan, August 2008, age 78. And just here it says her infant son, Gerard, 1941 aged one and a half. It's all handwritten there. And we have a beautiful picture of, this is Biddy Hayes there. And then we have another photo, it says to Nan. So that's beautiful there. So Biddy Hayes and then, Biddy is obviously the nanny. Now we're getting it by flies but I do notice in here as well we do have some markers as well in here so there's probably a lot more buried in here than what we know of now we're just trying to maneuver our way around because it is a little bit dangerous getting around now and what we'll do then is Go back down these steps and go to the left. And just to be careful here, because I'd say this is quite slippy now. So I'll stop the video and come back to you. Right, so that was a little bit dangerous there, so I had to stop the video. Um, I do see some more graves up here, but yet to see this mausoleum but I do see something there some sort of a big building there as well now oh I see it wow oh wow wow this is beautiful it's completely covered in moss. And is this 
Right, we'll go around this way first. Is that some sort of a tomb as well there or a crypt? I'm not sure. Right, we just have a look at the date. Memory of Mrs. Jane Bathman, is it O'Driscoll? Ninety or sorry, 1897. William John O'Driscoll, 1908. And Michael B. O'Driscoll, 1908. That one has like the ivy at the top of the headstone there. So that's kind of 1897 there. We have what I think is a tomb here. No, right, Nana. Oh, there is. Hold on. Looks like Edward. Um, Hart, maybe. And I'm not sure I can see a date. But it's definitely Edward Hart, I think. Isn't it? Yeah, Edward Hart. Any date there? No. No. It's Eight kind of. 22, is it? I'm not sure. I can't really even see that. 72. Yeah, it's too hard to read. The date is there, the year, but it's Yeah, gone. it's gone. I'm trying to get a sense of um, age. Here's another little one here. Um, a little cross. William Tottenham, infant son of Reverend WJC and Sarah, died July the 12th, 1879. Yeah. Oh, just a, a little, little baby. So that, that here then is the, what was the, the church. This is the ruins of the church. And then if I pan around, we have this magnificent pyramid mausoleum. Now, I do believe that there is a name over the door, but nobody seems to know much about them. So we're going to take a closer look at this. And I actually don't know what this is. Now, some people said online that it's another a mausoleum or something, but I don't see a doorway unless it's around... Oh, there's holes in it. Right, well, let's read this beautiful pyramid mausoleum. Now, I think I read it's John. Um, and we'll see that now if we take a closer look at the, the door here. John Hussey, is it? Is it the... The Berg. The Berg, yeah. What's up this, over it? This. There's 1871. Oh my God, when I'm talking, I can hear it. Oh my God, the door. The door's <gasps> opened. No way. Oh my God. It's like somebody has forgotten to lock it. There's no padlock on it. Oh, There's a lovely crest up there as well. All this stuff grows. Yeah, that is amazing. It's what actually makes it look so fantastic is all that. Um, like nature has reclaimed it. Moss and brambles. There's an echo, yeah. As I was talking, I could hear an echo. The door's opened. Right, hold on, guys. Okay, so we've just pulled back the door. It actually opened up really easy. There's no lock or anything into it. And I, I don't want to open it much further. You can actually clearly see that we have remains in there. We have some, um, I think that's lead coffins maybe, but there is clearly human remains in Four there. skulls. So the coffins have completely disintegrated. They've just gone, yeah. You can see some of the, it's like timber there as well. It's actually huge inside, but... Uh, there's actually birds in there, I think. There's something squeaking in there. Could be animals, of course. 
And what we're going to do actually is just push close that door. I'm surprised that that door is not sealed yeah, just or... To, like just to make it clear to everybody that the yeah. door actually does open. It's not sealed or anything like... it's not like. locked. You can see the keyhole, but it's not locked. And you can see how easy we opened it. So you can just pull back the door and it's opened. But... um. I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to actually bring this around the other side now. Right, so as I said guys, we're going to go around the other side. We've just made sure that that is completely sealed back. I'm actually kind of shocked that it is the way it is. Um, because usually these ones are completely sealed or even welded. There's no padlock, nothing. There's four iron posts here and I was wondering what they're for. They were like, I don't know, maybe a chain going a across the front or something. Like a walkway in or something. I don't know, actually. I'm kind of just shocked that um, that door just opened. But we're going to take a look actually at the structure of it because that's why I came here, was to see this beautiful moss-covered pyramid. And uh, take a look at it. It's absolutely stunning. As I said, unfortunately, not much information I can find, but I will certainly look again. But it was well worth the big drive we had coming here. But this is absolutely, it, you know, it's just a stunning um, mausoleum. It really, really is. Let's look at that. All the moss. At the top then we have a like a a complete bush of between ivy and brambles. I just can't yeah there's actually something on the it's like a, a rail or a carbing maybe just going along there. It's like a bar actually. So I wonder was this completely um like was there a, a, a barrier, like a chain barrier going across it at some stage? But that is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I mean, it's hard to find mausoleums like this. Now, if I just quickly turn around, this is the second one. Now, this is quite strange. It's almost like um, a castle. Can you see up the very, very top? It does almost look like um, a chimney, but I wonder was a decoration. But you can see it's probably lost. There's probably been four of those around the top of it. There's some holes up here, but all the lower ones do seem to be um, blocked off. We do have, I don't know, is it a mausoleum? We do have a hole there. So there definitely is something in there. Maybe what? Here. I don't know. It's definitely like a, I don't know. Strange, yeah. I mean, it must be a mausoleum. It is quite strange. Now, I don't know. There is definitely a room in there, whether it holds a family. I don't know. There's no writing. It's too high, yeah. Uh, you wouldn't see anything. Excuse me, you wouldn't see anything up that height. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to just turn around. And like this, as I said, this uh, pyramid is, it's like it's been forgotten. It's way up, you know, on the, a big steep, steep hill that you can't really get a car up. So you'd wonder how they even get the, the bricks to do this up that road. And uh, even for people to, to travel by foot up that road, it is, it's uh, very, very steep. I wonder if the Hussey family connected to this. That's what I'm just wondering. There must be a connection between this one that looks like a castle and this one, a pyramid. I mean, obviously they were a wealthy wealthy family but uh, I'm going to have one more look at it because it is 
so nice. We have actually a lot of those um, like holes here. So it is like somebody has taken the time to block those up, but yet this is just, you could walk in there. Actually, you could actually just walk in there, couldn't you? Yeah. But I don't want to. Um, it's a gruesome looking scene. Yeah, I've no intentions of walking in there, but I'm saying like that, I just put my hand up the door just to kind of, to show that it's iron. Like I didn't expect anything like that. As I say, we have the, the crest above it. But at some stage, this is going to be completely covered in uh, weeds and brambles and with blackberries even growing out of it. So it's quite um, it'd surreal. Nice to, it'd be nice to see some kind of project. Yeah, to get it completely cleaned up. Clean it like the ones you did in there. Yeah. Oh. Now this one, this side is completely covered in that ivy. And you know, ivy can be so destructive, it'll eventually pull it down. But I am interested in seeing what that is up on top as well. It's almost like a chimney. Do you know, but that is just so beautiful. Even with the moss and the, the weeds, it is still, up, you know, it is really, really beautiful. But unfortunately, that door it's is a bit um, like a mausoleum with the four open. corners on it at the top. Yeah, it's like a castle like. It wouldn't have that chimney in the middle. A mausoleum. No, I don't know what that is. Maybe it was, I don't know, decoration or something. It's hard to see it on the camera there, but it does look like a chimney up through it. Hold on. Well, a massive hole over here. Ah, stop. I just spotted this. Now, this is, you surely see something here. Oh, it looks. I don't know, you can spot it first. <laughs> we let grave visitations go in first and have a look. You have to investigate, guys. I don't know. Um, wow. Really? Full of skulls, bones, everything, and there's a deep pit inside there. So it is like a mausoleum. Yeah, but it's a deep pit. I, don't, I can't understand. I've never seen one like it. What is going on here? Like... I probably won't be able to see anything now. Oh yeah, it's kind of... It's Do you see the big pit over by the wall? Like it goes way down or something. Like oh yeah. Like the two levels. It's the high level with the skull. I'm getting and stung by nettles. Now, there is... There is people dying in there. Oh, there is people in there, yeah. So it's like a, like some kind of a, a vault or type of. Like it's, I don't know. No, unless you got your camera in there. That's the best I can get there now, but I still can't really show the... Well, you can kind of see it. That is strange. But it is definitely like it's a... It's, I don't know, a huge... Unless that's just where the coffins were. I wonder what the lower level is, because if you look Ugh. at the mausoleum area... Yeah. Like, by looking at that mausoleum from the outside, you'd never think there was a lower level in it. No. So it's like there's another... I don't know, I wonder... Like, it looks like a chamber. I don't know, I just wonder where the coffin's up on... Um, what would you call it, like up on stilts, kind of. And that's just the lower ground. So the, where is the, be, the op or the... The doorway, where were, would that have been there? And that's why that area has kind of opened up a bit. It's so covered in ivy, it's really, really hard to find out. But it could have been, I wonder does it look like it's been a, uh, there does seem to be new brick there, yeah. just there. I think 
that was the entrance. Or maybe it went underground. Because we are kind of up on a bit of a hill. There's a lot of mountains. Hold on. What is that there? Look at that. See it? Is that just the way the rock is or is it kind of arched? Yeah, there is an arch. So I'd say this was the door. Oh, it looked like a window maybe. Oh, no. See the design of it. Yeah, I wouldn't pull it too much. I can see all there. Yeah. There is a gap there actually. Yeah. You can see in through. Yeah. So that was covered up. I'd say it was like a glass. So that would you think? And then you could just see the coffins, but obviously over time then the coffins have yeah. disintegrated. And you can definitely see just where my torchlight is now that that's new. So either this was a huge window, you won't be able to really see it, but I can see it. Um, like the design there. And there's a design just, just there where my torchlight is as well. So it's, uh, you know, as I said, we came to, to see that magnificent um, pyramid and uh, weren't even sure we'd find it because, as I said, there's not an awful lot of information on this little area um, other than the little piece I found online and that just basically said to park in the village and to try and walk up. But uh, it's amazing, absolutely, isn't it amazing? And uh, then this mausoleum as well, like, but it is, uh, it's so strange, but very beautiful really there with the light coming in and you can see all that moss. Is it an old church ruin that they made into a mausoleum? I don't think that. so. The, well, I don't know, the church is there, so unless, I don't know, people... Wellington Bridge, we've seen that in Wexford. We did see that in Wellington Bridge. Or they've made an old... The mausoleum was... Church ruin into a mausoleum. Yeah, or the church, yeah, the church, uh, the ruins of the church, they... Uh, made it into the the mausoleum like but that is amazing that like it's just hidden that pyramid is hidden like why did they build that huge structure in front of the pyramid like so i just wonder was there another pathway into it rather than the path we're walking in now because you'd imagine that you'd want the pyramid to be the vocal point of the the graveyard wouldn't you i mean you don't get to see it until you walk right up to it. You know, it's completely hidden there. But uh, an amazing find once again. Grave visitations and Serenity Sioux traveled four hours. Four hours, okay. four hours to find a beautiful mausoleum and it is a beautiful mausoleum and look at, we find so much more. But uh, we do hope that everybody here is resting in peace. It's certainly a very, very quite secluded uh, graveyard, almost like a, an enchanted feel. And then with that huge pyramid there and that mausoleum, it's, it's just unreal. But I'm actually, when we do eventually get down um, this hill, I'm just going to show you what the village is like very quickly. Just it's a beautiful um, it's, the scenery here is just stunning and I really would like to just put it in to the end of the video. Right, so guys, well, we've left the, the graveyard there and we're currently walking down, as you can see, this big steep hill back into the village. And what I'll do is show you some of the village at the end of this video. So if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. But for now, take care guys and God bless. Right, so this is the hill we've walked down and it brings you just here onto this little road down into the village. I don't have the phone on the gimbal so you'll have to excuse the, the shakiness. Just look at that for a view. Uh, 
How picturesque is that? Now I'd gladly stay here tonight, but we have to drive an hour more to get to our next stop and then hopefully we'll get some sleep but isn't that just stunning I don't want to lose my phone right so guys on to the next one